For families facing foreclosure, some doors are now open. It's wonderful, great. While others have closed. He was just always a day late and a dollar short. When John Williams lost his job, he knew he wouldn't be able to pay the mortgage on his home near Dallas. I see what's coming, and uh, I see it, you know, as plain as day. Don't do nothing, foreclose. But after hearing that the government and several major banks were offering to modify some home loans, Good. John found a federal housing program that lowered his monthly payment by $500. We love our home, and uh, I want to make sure we can stay in it. I'm just frustrated, very frustrated. San Francisco police officer Troy Courtney didn't get the help he needed after he fell behind on his adjustable rate mortgage. Right now, this house belongs to Wells Fargo, and I'm out, and that's the bottom line. Experts say efforts to curb foreclosures are too slow, too sporadic, and reaching too few homeowners. It's like having a boat full of water that's leaking all the time. Each one of these programs is like giving somebody a cup to bail it out. We need to be using buckets. New numbers show the depth of the problem. In Nevada, which has the highest foreclosure rate in the country, one in every 74 households received a foreclosure notice last month. In Arizona, filings are up 176% from a year ago. In Florida, 80%. And while some states like California are beginning to see foreclosure filings drop, Sakala says the government needs to buy up troubled loans on a large scale. I think we're well beyond the working on this problem on a case-by-case -case basis. Having moved out, Troy Courtney knows all he can do is move on. It's very challenging to just try to uh, get back on the right track. So when is the foreclosure freefall expected to end? Well, some experts say that if enough homeowners get help, the housing market could stabilize by the end of 2009. Harry? Ben Tracy, thanks.